Hi, this is Mrs. Hink and let's talk thermal conductivity. What we have here is five different cups of different material and we are going to test which one is going to keep water the hottest the longest. So first thing we have to do here is I have heated up a cup of water. Okay, I've heated it up to, let's see, looks like right now it's 126 degrees Fahrenheit. 126 degrees Fahrenheit. I will try to hold this thermometer up for you so you can see about 126. So I'm going to pour this hot water into each of these cups and we are going to test for two minutes, four minutes, six minutes, and then find the range of which one held the heat the longest. Let's get started. Now we're gonna put thermometers in each one and get the starting temperature. Thermometers are rising. I've got a chart and I've got a pen so I can write everything down. It's still rising, I love it. So starting temperature for the paper cup is 126 degrees Fahrenheit. For the plastic cup, 121 degrees. For the metal cup, 127 degrees. That means it's in between the lines. For the styrofoam cup, 124 degrees and ceramic 118. All right, now we're gonna do a little time lapse and I'll get you the two, four, six minute uh, temperatures as they come. Make a prediction. Which cup do you think out of all of these five are going to hold the temperature in the longest? Ceramic, styrofoam, aluminum, plastic, or paper? So after two minutes, the ceramic has dropped seven degrees, the styrofoam has dropped four degrees, the metal or aluminum has dropped four degrees as well, the plastic has only dropped three degrees, this one here and then the paper only dropped two degrees. So after four minutes, the ceramic cup has dropped 10 degrees um, from the beginning. The styrofoam cup has dropped from 124 to 117, so that's seven degrees. The metal or aluminum cup dropped seven degrees. The plastic cup dropped 10 degrees, and the paper cup has only dropped five degrees. Which one do you think is going to hold it longer now with only a couple minutes left? Okay, the results are in. So which did you think would hold the heat in the longest? Let's see if you're right. The ceramic and the plastic containers, these two, should take the thermometers out there. These two let the most heat out don't you think that's interesting that we drink coffee and hot liquids out of ceramic, but this allows more heat to go through. Ceramic and plastic are better conductors than they are insulators. Then styrofoam and the aluminum both dropped 10 degrees over that six minutes. So that means they did a pretty good job over the six minutes of insulating the hot liquid. But the one that did the best, the one that had the smallest range from the beginning temperature to the end temperature was the paper cup. This only lost eight degrees worth of heat over six minutes. So paper was the winner. Who decided, who chose? Did you win? Did you pick the right one? I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.